Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to clear the dirty bit on a drive in Windows. Uh, that's used to show that the drive is in an inconsistent state. And let's say you're trying to do a defrag or check your optimization and you get a message like this. Let me get to the properties of the C drive. If you go to Tools, Optimize, you know where defrag is located. You can see that these are okay, 0% fragmented. And this one is optimization not available and you can't optimize it or defrag it. And if we go to a command prompt, administrative command prompt, to try and do it manually by running the defrag uh, C drive, you know, this obviously will change if it's not C for you, and then forward slash A to analyze it. It says dirty bit is set on this volume. And you could do a check disk, but you risk, you know, messing things up and it might not work, or you could use the FS utility and that thing will tell you that the drive is 30-bit uh, is set, but you can't do anything about it. So to get around it, you could do something like uh, use a disk hex editor, but that's a pain, and depending on which version of Windows you're using, the information is going to be different. So what we're going to do is boot to a boot disk called System Recovery. It's a free download, and that way we could clear the uh, dirty bit that way and then continue on with our defrag after that. So once you download the uh, file, an ISO file, either make a bootable CD or put it on a flash drive, you know, use Rufus or something like that to make it bootable, and then you'll uh, boot your computer with it. So let me uh, do that, and we'll be right back. All right, so once you boot up to it, you want to pick the first option, Boot System Rescue, using default options. All right, then you want to type in LSBLK space dash O, not zero O, and another space, name, common, label, comma, size, no spaces in, in between those. And that will show you your disk layout here. So before you do this, make if you have more than one drive, make sure you find uh, the proper drive. So I know this is my 100 gigabyte drive. So I could see that uh, it's this one under NVMe zero and one category and then it's the third one down with the three after it so then I want to type So NTFS fix space dash D space then slash dev for device then slash NVMe 0 N 1 P 3 because that's my 99.3 gigabyte or my 100 gigabyte drive. So once you have the right one, just press enter. Okay, mounting volume, processing, checking boot sector okay. Process successfully. So now this should be done. So we'll exit out of here. Then we'll reboot the computer. And then we'll be back again. All right, so we're back in Windows. So let's go to our command prompt here. Put in our command again. So now you can see it's starting the uh, analysis. And while that's going, let's go to our C drive here in File Explorer. And you can see it's analyzing it here too. So we'll just give this a second and see what it says. All right, so it says recommended that you defrag this volume and right here, so I could either defrag it from the command line or I could just uh, run it here so I should be good to go. Okay, so I'll put a link in the description for the uh, system rescue download. And like I said, just burn it to a disk or a you know CD or a flash drive and boot your computer to it. And then, you know, follow the instructions that I showed you in the video of which commands to run. Just make sure you make a note of which hard drive you need to do this on if you have more than one. And then you should be good to go. And then, of course, you might want to make a backup just in case because you never know what's going to happen when you use these kind of tools and you're messing with your hard drive. 
All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.